Main Street started in about November of 2009. Um, before that, uh, Reggie and I actually used to jam on Saturdays. We would come in every Saturday and, and jam for about two or three hours straight with a guy named uh, Dave Fowler. Um, and we did that for a few months and then uh, Reggie and I decided that we wanted to take this thing a step further so uh, we decided to get uh, to put this band together. Um, Reggie and I both worked together and um, we decided that we were going to send out an agency-wide email um, in our company and um, that's when Bobby George came forward, uh, Brandon Wiles came forward, uh, Cindy Durrett came forward and we all sat at this round table and we developed this plan. We sat down and decided um, you know, what songs we were going to play, uh, what kind of band we were going to be, and um, we just started practicing in preparation for uh, a, a December Christmas luncheon which was to happen the very next month. So uh, we basically practiced um, constantly until we got these songs right. Uh, to, to the point we felt we were ready to do this Christmas luncheon. So the next month, uh, the Christmas luncheon rolled around and, and there we were up on stage. Reggie the Funk Meister Delane from Funkville. I can't say enough about this brother. Um, I've been impressed with Reggie from day one. He brings the funk and he brings it hard. Um, even when funk is not called for, he's over there funking it up in the corner. So, um, you know, the thing I like about Reggie is that he, he's also a perfectionist and um, he believes in being prepared. Um, there's absolutely no way that we're going to go do a gig and we're not 100% prepared in his mind. Um, he, likes to be, he likes to be ready, he likes to be tight, and um, he pushes us to be that way. And um, that's, that's, that's what I like most about Reggie is that he, he knows what he wants us to sound like and, and um, so we try to achieve that. Um, and he's the extra force that we need to get that done. Larry Fernandez. What can I say about Larry the Shark Fernandez? Uh, he has got to be the most versatile drummer, I think, in South Carolina. I've never seen anybody like him. Um, the man surprises you every time. Um, I can remember when I first introduced um, an original funk song to the band. I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. Because Larry, uh, he was brought up uh, in a different time period. Um, he's more of a, um, a 60s, early 70s type cat who likes Springsteen and bands like that. And um, I was like, there's no possible way that we're going to uh, be able to pull off uh, a funk song. So um, I introduced the song to the band. And um, we struggled with it for a bit, but um, about the second week of practicing this song, I was like, damn, Larry Fernandez is a funky brother. Um, Bobby is unique. I'll definitely give him that. He, he's, a, he's a unique individual. Uh, he's a talented guy. Um, he, he's an excellent spokesperson for the band. Uh, he's got the gift of gab. He's an excellent songwriter. Um, I've never seen anybody um, put together 
a, a song uh, structurally the way Bobby George has and um, he continues to do so uh, he, he amazes me every day um, he's got brilliant marketing ideas uh, he brings a lot to the table um, I couldn't ask for a better bandmate than BG Bobby is definitely a, a, a slave driver um, he's a perfectionist and um, when it comes to music he, he, he wants to get it right um, as we all do um, uh, we've we've spent hours I mean I can I can recall spending hours on one song just trying to get it right we would dissect the song uh, from beginning to the middle to the end and we would just work on the beginning for 30 minutes to an hour until we got it right and then we'd move to the middle and then we would you know um, work on the end and we would put it all together and if it still wasn't right we would go back and change some things and he was just real meticulous like that and he would um, you know um, we wouldn't leave until we got it right and we felt comfortable um, coming back in and um, doing it non-stop um, without hesitation so um, can't ask for better than that <laughs> Yeah, the new Main Street project consists of basically 12 to 13 songs uh, between myself and Bobby George. Uh, we've come up with uh, some R&B, some rock, some soul, some funk. Uh, there's some Latin thrown in there. We've got a ballad or two. So, um, you know, we, we're, we're really proud of, of, of what we've done this year so far. Um, so we hope to have this CD put together and out on the shelves and on iTunes and through Amazon and places like that by March, uh, mid-March we're shooting for. Um, but uh, so far so good. Uh, we're right on schedule and um, we've got a great producer behind us. His name is Frank Fusco. He's with a band called the Thunder Pigs, a uh, very popular band also here in Columbia and um, we're just gonna um, keep pushing and uh, this year uh, we're gonna prove that this year's uh, our best year yet. Um, we've got a lot of shows on the calendar this year, so we, we're looking forward to seeing you guys come out and support uh, your local music, and um, it's going to be a blast this year. <laughs>